my time here in Tashkent is over. In this episode, I will board a shark train and go to my next destination, which is Samarkand. But before that, maybe I have time to visit one last thing and hopefully not miss my train. It's getting pretty late, but I still wanted to visit something. So this is a uh, Hazrat Imam complex. It's really good. Hazrat Imam complex is the religious heart of Tashkent. Here we have mosques, madrasas, mausoleums, and the library that contains one of the oldest manuscripts of the Quran in the whole world from the 7th century. Yeah, fortunately that part is uh, under construction or restoration. Have a look at this. Unfortunately, a lot of these sites are under restoration, but it's still worth coming here. And uh, yeah, if you come in a couple of years, probably this whole place is gonna look totally different. Anyway, I will remain with these uh, sunset images in my head for a while, I'm sure of that. And uh, now let's go to the train station. Let's jump into the metro again. The stop is called Tashkent, pretty easy to remember. And it's one of my favorite metro stations in the Uzbek capital. I mean, check this out, very, very pretty. There's a lot of security at the train station, so keep that in mind. Come half an hour earlier or something, because they're gonna check everything. They even took uh, my socks and dirty underwear from my backpack just to check if I have a drone or not. So don't bring your drone and uh, be sure you're gonna be checked. So be here in time. How cool is this? What's the packet? The you the compartment. I've never seen something like this. This is it. This is the whole compartment. Three seats. You see, normally there are three others here, but no, it's a wall. It's a table, some mirrors, right? and a flat screen TV. So basically I'm just sitting here. Very nice. There's another guy there. The most big guy sitting there. He's at the toilet at the moment, probably. I didn't ask him. Uh, you can pretend you're reading the Uzbek newspaper 
All is interesting. I was supposed to be in a um, in another compartment with six seats, but uh, the conductor asked me if I want to move because there's a family and they want to stay together because they have kids and all the stuff. So I was like, gladly, where am I gonna sit? And uh, yeah, he gave me this ticket. So I found my seat and it's this one. It's actually the one in the middle. But uh, yeah, since it's not occupied, I thought uh, I'm not uh, doing anything wrong. No way. Uh, I think I have to show my ticket. Hey, hello. Yeah, Blakey. Oh, no, thank you, thank you. Okay, I didn't need to show my ticket. Actually, he was offering me tea for free, which is really nice, but I don't feel like having one now, maybe later. Oh yeah, and uh, I don't think I mentioned yet, surprisingly, but it's the bumpiest train ever. So like, really, I've never seen a bumpier train in my life. It's yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you because I filmed my bottle of water several times and uh, really nothing touches it. You see, there's nothing touches it. <laughs> it's doing like that all the time, the whole time. Uh, yeah, I don't know how am I gonna survive three hours, yeah, but yeah, that's fun. Shark train, bear in mind, if you wanna take the shark train, it's extremely bumpy. I read on the internet that it's gonna be a bit bumpy, but yeah. Let's just say that was an understatement. <laughs> yeah, maybe we watch some Uzbek TV. What do you reckon? Really nice, really nice experience. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can open this, but you don't see anything. Actually, yeah, you see my reflection because it's night. Okay, let's go to Samarkand. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, up there you can put a jacket and if you open up, like up there, you can uh, put your luggage. I put mine on the table. But if you have a lot of uh, luggage, you can put it up there. Oh, some paper towels, nice. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> Just these three seats. One of unusual compartments.
Look, someone smoked here. Some Uzbek gangster smoked a cigarette illegally. <laughs> All right. I'm a bit tired. I just want to, you know, go to the hotel, do the check-in, maybe grab something to eat, take a shower. I need that, <laughs> and uh, then go to bed. And in the next episode, Samarkand. Okay, that was it. Wow. I don't see anything. Probably don't see anything either. But uh, yeah, we made it. This is how I can. Here's a very green train. I don't know if you see it, probably not. But it's very green and pretty. And the little shop there. Maybe I can check the train station inside. Let's see. really really amazing the best accommodation i'm super happy with it like look at this you enter here you can leave your stuff and a nice wardrobe with a mirror and some uh, samarkand plates table with a chair some uh, more paintings here there as well and uh look at this huge bed like really <laughs> am i gonna sleep alone in this huge bed wow i like the ceiling so wooden this is beautiful and an extra chair here and a mini bar it's a fridge that actually works and some drinks there. Well, I don't know if you see them, like cola, Pepsi, Fanta, stuff. And uh, yeah, two bottles of water on the table there. Uh, they are uh, for free, uh, same as uh, the water in the in the fridge. Look at this. Okay, bathroom tour. Very blue, very Uzbek. Uh -huh. Toilet. A nice uh, bathtub, sink, right. yeah, hair dryer, some towels, some more towels, yeah, this bathtub and shower, really nice, very blue and pretty, but the room, man, it's really, really beautiful. You like it? I'll definitely put a link in the description. It looks really good. So if one of you guys want to book the same room, use my link. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it's a bit pricey for Uzbek standards. I think it's about 50 euro a night or $50. Uh, 
But yeah, I mean, uh, if you are two people, probably it's going to be the same price. So it's 25, which is not that bad. I mean, 50 is not bad either. I mean, for, for this room, really, I know you can get probably something cheap for like 15, 20 euro, but uh, is it really worth it? You, you will always remember this beauty. <laughs> yeah, so if you're not on, the, on a budget, uh, that's a really nice choice. Okay, that's it. Uh, it's time for me to go shower and see you in the next video.